Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Menu True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We have returned from the little Christmas break. I feel much refreshed for that. And obviously, the first thing we need to sign off is there was a vote at the end of the last part. The vote as to which ending we should be shooting for. I don't think it was particularly surprising. In fact, it was overwhelmingly in favour of good old Mr. House. The house always wins. That was what the vote said. And that is what we will do. And honestly, I want to crack on a bit with the main story, uh, this very, very part. So obviously, that will take us to Fortification Hill. Of course, for me, Fortification Hill is not that terrifying for the Legion. There's a far more terrifying thing there. And that's radiation. The, uh, the little bunker I need to go into at the end of Fortification Hill is full of radiation. So I need to very quickly get myself set up for that. And the first of my preparations brings me back to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I haven't been here for a little while, but it's time uh, to finish off all my implants because I have a ton of money now. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Nope, but I do need the final two implants. Now, obviously, interestingly, uh, the one that I haven't actually gone for yet was endurance, which may sound counterintuitive. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, endurance does not impact your damage resistance or damage threshold at all. It, si it simply kind of defines your total number of hit points. So the fact I haven't taken that yet it has no impact on me. But what it will mean by taking it right now is that has put my maximum hit points up from 400 to 420 so now we were at the beginning of this episode on 310 out of 400 we are now on 330 out of 420 and my rad resistance has gone ever so slightly up too now good doctor one more thing while i'm here now i can afford one more i don't care about charisma that's not really important to me so I may as well uh, go for agility obviously I'm not taking regenerating I think that will be cheating and I think that'll probably be the last implant I bother to take I just don't see much point taking charisma my speech is already I've already maxed it I think I, I've already maxed it or come very close um and Bart is not important to me and uh companion nerve though it is very powerful for your companion's defense I'm not really using companions so it doesn't make much difference to me so let's get agility up just for a little boost to those associated stats exactly. meanwhile if I'm going to be invited up to the fort and its radiation filled bunker I really need something very special to wear and I don't mean a nice dress I do of course mean some sort of radiation suit unfortunately I can only remember one location where I can get a radiation suit and that is of course Clark Field which may involve me actually walking into some radiation to get the radiation suit but uh never mind never mind never mind and there also could be golden geckos around here you see, there it is. I can see it right there. That's uh, that's Mr. Radical, who I didn't come and get as part of the Come Fly With Me quest, but... Ooh, that's just a bloke flying. So I just need to go and get Mr. Radical here. Ooh, hello. Dead mole rat. Don't remember that being there. I always find it creepy when something I don't remember is there is there, because I generally assume I know this game well enough that I should know where everything is. I'm also nervous because there's normally a golden gecko... Round about here. And there's not one there today. Alright, let's just see if we can just get in. Get this and then go. I don't see any sign of trouble. And are we going to be in radiation? I don't know. There we are. Don't need... Well, let's just take that. It's It, it doesn't carry weight. Let's have that. Radical journal. Bat on useless. Radiation suit. Weighs only five. And then let's just waddle back out of here. As fast as possible in a minute we will be back into able to fast travel distance hopefully good no trouble no trouble at all lovely so of course with this lovely sexy ensemble now put together we have only one place left to go as part of this quest line it is time to head up the raft up towards fortification hill Sadly, you can't do much with the Legion when you initially arrive at Cottonwood Cove. At this point in the game, like pretty much all of them just say, no, 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 you need to go and you need to go and deal with uh, with Caesar first. Everyone of them just basically says, yeah, Caesar's summoned you off, you go off the raft. So I can't do any subquests here right now. As far as I can remember, I believe I cannot. So, uh, yes, I'm just going to head straight there. Uh, after we've done uh, just chatting with Caesar the first time, then all of this becomes available to us. But for right now, there's not much we can do, really. Right, Curse of Lucullus, oh. take us up river if you be so kind. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. Well, that seems perfectly fair. Though, obviously, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I think many people, when they see this sort of thing, just immediately go, yep, I agree to disarm, keep hold out. But actually, if you uh, ask what a banned item is, 
then actually you can talk your way into being allowed uh, to bring along uh, chems, chems and medicines. I think that's all drugs and all stim packs. I'm not sure, uh, but I think that's what that is for speech 35. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. I quite like that line of dialogue too. Anyway, uh, yes, I agree to disarm, but I'll keep the holdout weapons. And we lose the platinum chip as well, very sadly indeed. Uh, you can get them back, they're just locked in those crates over there, but I'm pretty sure, because I've tried to do this before, if you crack open the lock and get the weapons back, uh, the Legion do turn you. There's no way you can be hidden, even if you're like perfectly hidden and stealth void and all the rest of it. Uh, no way to avoid the Legion turning hostile the moment that happens. I think it's just a fixed event. It's like there's some people who will always turn everyone hostile, no matter what. Uh, like um, Cassandra Moore, I think if you attack her, the NCR will always be hostile, even if you perfectly stealth killed her. For those of you who have had all your weapons confiscated but don't really like that idea, uh, don't worry, there's actually a lot of really good looting you can do around this area. You'll very often find things like uh, hunting rifles and so forth in these footlockers. You'll also find lots of money in general, so yeah, lots of uh, Legion Denarii, which are actually quite valuable. So that's just a machete, but there's a lot more valuable stuff too. So again, no need to delay, just head into the main tent and approach the mighty Kaiser. Of course, Benny is not here because Benny is already dead. Normally, he would just kind of be tied up in this area. But uh, today, no Benny. And here's Volpez in Colter 2, who obviously would have been replaced with someone else had he been killed otherwise. And Lucius, who's the first time you'll run into him here. But hello, Caesar. What have you got to say to me? Years of meticulous scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? So here's the thing, Caesar. I went up to Dead Sea and I offered to help him. And I was probably going to get around to doing it sooner or later. But the next time I went back to Nelson, the Legion were hostile to me. Not my fault. So, you know, I, I tried to help. I tried to help. A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it. When you set your mind to something you get results. I like that. I really love that line of dialogue because for me it sums up what a wonderful bit of storytelling New Vegas does because New Vegas of course is divided into acts. The first act is you've been shot in the head go get the man that, you know, go get the man that killed you, or tried to kill you. And it's such a computer game thing for you to think, okay, fine, I'll go get my revenge. But of course, as Caesar points out quite well, for any normal human being, the idea of going to find the person that just tried to murder you is ridiculous. It's, it's, and the things that you've done on, in that brief first act are, you know, the, 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 the sort of things a normal person wouldn't be able to achieve. So even though video game logic makes perfect sense, Caesar does point out, obviously, it marks you out as someone uniquely qualified and able, which is why everyone wants to work with you, which leads into the second act where everyone wants to work with you so, so well. And it makes so much sense because it means that you can jump straight into speaking to Caesar and Cassandra Moore and Mr. House because they've all noticed you because you did this remarkable thing by yourself in the first act by coming and killing Benny. And it's just a wonderful bit of storytelling. Oh, I love New Vegas. I love New Vegas so much. Anyway, let's just kind of, uh, let's just be nice to Caesar. Let's play nice. How may I serve the Legion, Caesar? We know we're not serving the Legion, we're serving house. But, you know, let's, let, let's just pretend we're nice. I like the servile attitude. Oh, you get Legion fame for saying that. I did not know that. My Legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting this. I thought I would be asked to go and deal with the... Bunker at Fortification Hill, not deal with house straight away. What? Just give me the platinum chip. Give me the chip, Caesar. Oh, I'll give you the platinum chip, and then you'll use it exactly like I tell you to. I really hope he's about to ask me to go to the bunker and not just go and assassinate house, because that was weird. Why did that happen? I'm not supposed to be asked to assassinate house, I'm supposed to be asked to go and deal with the bunker. Down the hill at the west edge of camp. Thank goodness for that. Why did he ask me to go and... That was really weird. Was that a glitch? A little bug in the game? Because I swear he's not supposed to ask me to assassinate House until I've already dealt with the hatch. Okay, good. I was nervous there for a second. I thought I'd have to 
stealthily infiltrate the uh, the bunker if he didn't want me to take it on. Right, I've never seen that before. Actually, I suppose he did actually just say he wanted house taken out with a one-two punch. Maybe the one is deal with the bunker and the two is take out house himself. I don't know. But that's that. Uh, that worried me for a moment. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Anyway, more more uh, lockers down here. And these lockers, I think, have a good chance of, like, hunting rifles showing up. Uh, service rifles. But, but water. Water is obviously very, very valuable, so that's good. Yeah, there we are. We found one with a hunting rifle. So, obviously, for any six weight, that's a thousand value. So, personally, I think if you're going to do one bit of looting here, just go around the camp looking for hunting rifles. Okay, so I only found two hunting rifles there, so not too much value. But, uh, never mind. So, activate the console, insert the chip, and I always think, I think I point this out every time I play New Vegas, I always find it disappointing that they just kind of just go, and they just disappear. Given Caesar said, you know, he tried to blast these apart and he couldn't get in, but I just feel like there should be a bit more of a kind of a big chunky vault style opening going on there, but it isn't, it's just this kind of little, you feel like, oh Caesar, if you, if you couldn't get through that, if your men and all their explosives couldn't get through that little thing, Something's not right. Anyway, let's head down there. And obviously, we are heading into radiation. I don't know what point it kicks in. The moment it kicks in, I'll also pop some Radax. Where does it kick in? Maybe not till you're inside. Also, get my guns ready. Because the downside of this whole thing is obviously, right now, my damage threshold is much lower than it would normally be for the rad resistance. So that means I will take slightly less rads, but I'll take much more damage. Uh, and there are enemies in here too, so this is a bit of a difficult choice to go on here. Just to let you know, by the way, rads of course do not regenerate at all, so I'm still at where I was last time, which is 135 rads. So I'm 65 away from hitting uh, minor radiation sickness. Minor radiation sickness would give me a minus one endurance debuff, so effectively that would be a loss of 20 hit points. So I do not want to do that at all. Anyway, let's head inside. Radiation. Radiation straight away. Okay. Radax, we're up to rad resistance 85%. I think that's about capped, to be honest. I don't think it gets any higher than that. So now we've just got to head in quickly as possible. But be careful. Hello, house. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? Preferably quickly. I am being irradiated. Okay, need to, as quickly as possible, take out the security. Right. There we are. That's the Securitron. I think that's the only thing I need to face for the moment. The security room right here I can use. So, Protectatrons. Let's deactivate them. And because I'm in a bit of a hurry, I'm going to try and do this one as properly as possible. So, obviously, look for patterns. So, in this case, a lot of the words end in ing. So, it's almost certainly a word that ends in ing as a result. And now just burn words that presumably must match what you're looking for until you get down to one. And, ah, containing is a very good match. Excellent. So, uh, contenting could be... Wait, contenting? That's not a word. Contenting? That's not a thing. Anyway, we're now very close. So now I start looking for the little snippets of code that activate things. And the interesting thing is, they're actually not that difficult to find during the more difficult challenges, because obviously there's more space taken up by the words, so there's less taken up by random letters. So we've got our allowance back, just like that. And now we basically know that we're looking for con-ing, so I can just try the other ones that are con-ing. And it means I can pretty much guaranteed to, uh, to win. So there we are, it was consisting. Okay, cancel the security alert, Protectatrons are now not hostile. And one more to go. Same principle applies. Yep, standing, so I'm pretty sure it's going to end in ing. But obviously I know it can't be starting because that will be, uh, that shares too many letters. Yep, got it first time. It was shooting. Didn't even need to find the allowance reset. Basically, always just look for the allowance reset. And now we can cancel the security alert for the, uh, these are the turrets too. Yep, the turrets are now not hostile. The sentry bot, however... Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. But I think, if I'm not blowing up the bunker, they don't come out. I think that's true. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Stuff, get all the things, because there's free stuff in here. Probably not worth taking the rads I'm currently taking, but never mind. Pulse grenades. Oh, oh I cannot be over-encumbered in here. I cannot be over-encumbered in here. Right, got rid of that. Now, just start running. I'm as protected as I can be. 
but obviously we do have the slight problem of I'm still taking rads this whole, whole time. But, obviously the turrets and the protectrons are all standing down. Everyone's fine with me. I need to do this as quickly as possible. That doesn't look like it's ticking up desperately fast to me. That doesn't look like it's ticking up that fast at all. So that's, that's good. All the robots want to be friends into the systems room. Yep, insert platinum chip. Insert the thing. A thing is done. I get a ton of experience. Now I just want to get the hell out. And I'm... I think that means the... The sentry bots don't come out. Because they come out if you blow up the bunker. Because the door that's keeping them trapped explodes. I really hope they're not about to come out. And obviously now all these robots are here. And it's, it's, all very, it's all very cool to watch the robots through there. But I really don't have the flipping time. So yes, I think we are good. Right, sorry for the small jump ahead there. My capture card had a bit of a funny moment. And for some reason I've lost the footage of myself uh, leaving the uh, the actual little bunker in Fortification Hill and running back to here. Sorry about that, but nothing interesting happened. I said hello to House. He said, job well done. Good, 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 good job you. Then I just ran back here. I've got 148 rad, so I think it sounds like I'm kind of not doing that badly. Maybe I, I'm slightly over worried about going into that bunker. So we're still a good 50 rads of actually being... Uh, Anywhere near actually uh, running into minor radiation sickness, so that is good indeed. I've also been in to say hello to Caesar. He gave me 500 experience points and reassured me that I should go and kill House, which I won't be doing, but but don't say that out loud because that, that guy's looking at me right now. And I've also picked up a couple of other Legion quests. I've picked up Finger of Suspicion from Volpez and Coulter and I Hear You Knocking by Lucius. And the reason I've got those is now for the rest of this part, I basically need to suck up to the Legion like crazy. Because here's the thing. So when I eventually do commit to house, as has been voted on by the community, the Legion will turn on me. And they'll turn on me in two ways, which is they'll shoot me on sight and they'll send hit squads after me because I'm an enemy of the Legion. However, hit squads are not sent after you because you've sided with house. Hit squads are sent after you because the game artificially lowers your uh, legion reputation to an extent where the game must send hit squads after you. So in other words, it gives you minus four on the negative. However, the game is not allowed to undo positive reputation. Now what that means is if I can get myself up to plus four positive reputation with the Legion before I commit to house, then I'll be plus four positive, minus four negative, and thus overall I will actually be neutral to the Legion. Because of the plot trigger, they will still shoot me on sight, but the Legion aren't really in that many places on the map to be honest. But if I can just get myself to where I'm plus four and minus four and thus neutral, my understanding of this game is they will not send hit squads after me, which is great. Meanwhile, the NCR won't send hit squads after me because uh, they will if you work for the Legion, but they they um they don't like you working with House, so they won't accept your help anymore. But they won't try and straight up murder you for it. So if I can get up to plus four reputation with the Legion, then that would mean I can basically spend the rest of this game without any hit squads coming after me at all. So here we are back at the boomers to pick up the firing mechanism for the big gun the legions acquired. Now if you're idolised by the boomers already you can just ask for this and get given it. But if you're not you can just steal it, head to the workshop and go to back here. It's already open, there's no need to actually unlock it or anything. And you'll find the mechanism along with some ammo and three missiles which is always nice too. And as for finger suspicion that brings us back to the strip obviously. That just bloody happened again. Why does that happen every... That happened during... Was it no kill or kill everything? Bloody Brahman, then an NCR check... I don't know. Anyway, down into the Vault 21 gift shop itself. And we are here to rescue from the Omertas a woman who, well, she thinks she's being a spy on behalf of the NCR. She thinks she's spying and passing on information to the NCR. But what you find out is uh, that she's actually passing information on to Curtis. Though, obviously, Curtis is actually dead in this universe, so uh, whatever. But, yeah, she's in fact, she thinks she's spying for the NCR. She's actually spying for the Legion. Anyway, hello, guys. This ain't your business. Walk off and forget you saw anything. That's convincing, but I have speech 50, so why don't you wander off instead? Shit. Look, we're just following orders. And they wander off, have a quick chat with her. Thank you. They were going to kill me. That's quite alright. So they wander off and then we can just head straight up to Fortification Hill and turn in both those quests. Super, super easy quests, these. So back up the hill, here's the big old gun that the Legion's captured. Slot the new firing mechanism. Lovely. 
So that's that done. So that means both of the quests are complete. We now just need to uh, turn both of those in to the quest giver. So, Volpez and Coulter, hello. Was there more for us to discuss? Yes, I have saved that woman. Unfortunately, because time freezes for everything but the person you're speaking to, it's particularly obvious when there's fire, because, of course, fire just freezes perfectly still. It's kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing New Vegas does. I'm not sure why the whole universe freezes apart from the sp person you're actually speaking to, but uh, never mind. Anyway, I was able to convince the Ometafugs that crossing the Legion was unwise. You can incidentally uh, mention that uh, Martina was saying that she was selling her information to Curtis in the NCR, and if you haven't completed Curtis's quest in favour of the NCR yet, this opens up the ability to go and speak to him to uh, do it for the Legion, but obviously I can't do that because Curtis is already dead. Anyway, I've already done this. You saved me the trouble of coming up with a more permanent solution. And Martina is free to go about her business as usual. Well done. There we are, nice, easy, just a little hundred experience points, nothing major there. Plus we get some Caesar's Legion fame, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we're up to accepted, so that's plus one positive. Lucius too. Well done. It will be very useful in the coming battle against the snipers the NCR will no doubt have hidden in the hills near the dam. So that's another 100 experience points, a little bit of Legion reputation. So you'll probably notice a problem there, which is obviously... I've turned in the quest I've already done to Caesar, and he won't work with me again until House is dead, so I can't get any more reputation from him. I've done the two quests that are here, and that's... That's pretty much all the Legion quests that, are, that there are. I've already done Cold Cold Heart. So I think probably the question is, now I'm only plus one on the Legion reputation. How do you get up to plus four? Well, for that, we need to head back out towards Cottonwood Cove. So obviously there's a few other bits and pieces I can do here. So this guy, you can tell two things to. You can teach him how to make powder charges, because obviously we picked up the, uh, the schematics for that from the prison way back. And yep, you can just show him the schematic, lovely. So there's some more fame and an easy 50 experience points. And you can also show him how to disarm NCR's mines. Actually, I can't yet, I need 50. So I'm not even, even with a skill magazine, I can't do that. I, I might come back to teach him that later. So uh, never mind. Uh, I will, if I get explosive up to 50, I'll try and remember to come back to him. So you've got that there. But either standing outside on the balcony or in his office, you've got the most interesting thing of it all, which is Aurelius of Phoenix. Now, pretty much every faction has a quest like this. It's, a, it's an unmarked quest, in fact. And what it basically means is there'll be someone in a faction who you can give something to, and everyone that you hand over, you get a tiny bit of reputation boost. So the most obvious and well-known example is probably um, Julie Farkas in The Followers, who you can give various forms of medicine and drugs to in order to get a boost of reputation with The Followers. This is the chap who does that for the lead. So if we just have a chat with him, ask him about how much action he's seen, and eventually you'll be able to ask him, will you pay a bounty for NCR troops that I kill? I'll pay you a small sum per tag. Let's just say I've got some dog tags to turn in, and just take all the dog tags I've got, because I've run into a few NCR corpses just around and about, so I've got a few on me. So I get 80 bottle caps, but more importantly, I get Caesar's Legion fame gained. So I've got my barter up to 35 with Salesman Weekly and the gear I got off Malcolm Holmes' corpse. And yes, you can trade ammo and supplies instead. So with that, I can now turn NCR dog tags into effectively infinite reputation with the Legion. And that unfortunately means doing something a little bit on the dodgy side. Uh, which is, I need to get myself a lot of NCR dog tags, and the best place to get those is off the corpse of the NCR, and the best way to get corpses of the NCR is to kill the NCR. So, there's one particular place that's very worthwhile going to for this sort of thing. So, welcome to Camp Forlorn Hope, and the reason I want to come here is because of something very peculiar in Camp Forlorn Hope, which is... And I, I don't know what this is. I assume it's a bug, but it never got patched out to the best of my knowledge. Just about everyone here tends to have two dog tags on them rather than one, which means I can get up to the number that I require much, much more easily. Now, of course, this being permadeath, I'm a little bit nervous about picking a fight with the NCR right in the middle of their own camp. So that means one of the perks that I took earlier will suddenly come in very useful indeed. So I've just moved the clock on into night and the NCR have all gone to bed. The Mr. Sandman perk suddenly comes into play. So I've had this for a little while and I thought I might get some use out of it. But interesting, I'm not sure I've ever flipping used Mr. Sandman before. Like, literally, ever. I really don't think I have. So, oh, it's Quartermaster Maze for my first one. Murder! Yes, well, what would I do? I'd like to murder, please. Mr. Sandman. I like the little sound effect. That's very good. 
Okay, good, good, good. And he only had one dog tug on him, actually. But he also had the storage key, so that's nice. I failed the quest restoring hope. That's a shame. Okay, might have to do a bit more traditional murdering here. But as long as they're all stealth kills, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, that's a good punch. Is everyone okay with that? Yep, good, good, good. Lovely. And there you go, you see. Standard uh, troopers. For some reason in the NCR... Two dog tags. Don't know why. Also, a uh, combat knife. Very worth having just for the value of it. Oh, I think he... Is this guy come to investigate? He's like, hmm. Hmm, I don't remember Steve being dead. Right, I'm now just going to go around the camp slowly but surely, picking off everyone one by one. Including... Ooh, NCR flipping rangers. I think that might actually be a bit tough for me, actually. I've also returned here to the Mojave Outpost because this is where you can fight an awful lot of soldiers. Unfortunately, because I've left it quite late and I'm quite a high level, large numbers of the troops that are floating around in uh, Camp Forlorn Hope now are kind of... Uh, there's a lot of desert rangers who I can't easily, you know, stealth kill because they're a bit too tough. So it's not as many dog tanks from there as I'd have liked. There we are. A few more slit throats. Oh, we've leveled up from all the murder. Good, good, good. Right, let's get explosives up to 30, given I said I wanted it to, uh, I wanted to kind of turn that into uh, Dekan, the Dekanus anyway. So let's do that. And let's get repair moving up. I think a few people have been complaining I haven't been getting enough repair going. And this one I've been waiting to get for a while. Obviously, I took Finesse for more luck, so I get a lot of criticals, and also I do a lot of stealth attacks. So better criticals, which also affects sneak attack criticals, is obviously a very good choice. So yes, better criticals, definitely well worth having. So yeah, my stealth attacks just become insanely powerful. And, of course, another huge source of dog tags, Camp McCarran at night, where a lot of soldiers do actually go to sleep, which is very useful indeed. Here we go. Here's three of them in a row right here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But rather annoyingly, none of those guys had dog tags on them. Is that normal? I can't remember. Did the Camp McCarran troops not have dog tags? I thought they did. I thought all NCR troops had dog tags, but I may be mistaken. Let's just try another one. No, no dog tags. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Cam McCarran, not a great place for this sort of thing in that case. For some reason, these troops do not have dog tags on them. Ah, but the soldiers at Camp Golf most certainly do. Excellent news. Another important question, do the misfits? The thing about the misfits is I've, I've helped these guys. I've helped these guys. So, you know, I, is it really that bad to just also kill them? I mean, that guy, Raz... Raz was a druggie, all right? He was he was hurting the rest of the team. Oh, but he didn't have a dog tag on him. Well, it's a bit it's a bit late to take it back now. So after slowly gutting the entirety of various NCR settlements, I now have 38 dog tags. And first things first, I can go up to Severus here, and I can uh, I can obviously now I've got my explosive to 30. Pop a Patriot's cookbook and tell him about the NCR mines. And that done, Aurelius is the right person to turn the dog tags into, which I will now do very slowly, one at a time, because I'm pretty sure that maximizes the uh, the calm again. Okay, I've got myself up to light, but not quite idolized yet, so I'm going to do a little bit more hunting yet for some more flipping NCR. I forgot to mention as well, you may have noticed I was wearing some slightly odd armor there. That was because I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, so I needed the plus one strength for my power armor. And one of the things that I did pick up from a few people I managed to kill dotted around the landscape was something very cool indeed that I always enjoy. A full set of ranger combat armor in pretty darn good condition. I always enjoy having this stuff. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool. At the very least, the helmet. I like the helmet. I think it mixes really quite nicely with the Chinese stealth armor, if nothing else. So kind of, I, I quite like it for that anyway. So I don't know. Do, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to kind of try maybe kind of going into the NCR stuff a little bit? I like this helmet. I mean, maybe I'll keep this helmet because I really quite like this helmet. Yeah, I might keep this for a little bit. Okay. I just went and actually had to burn a stealth boy to find many more at this point because I'd really run out of easy to kill isolated NCR troopers. Because plenty of troopers don't have dog tags, like military police don't get dog tags. And uh, basically anything that isn't just labelled as a basic default NCR trooper doesn't have a dog tag for the most part. So I've got an extra 26. So this flipping better be enough. Okay, good. We turned in the dog tags and we have become idolised. By Caesar's Legion. So in other words, we are on plus four positivity with those guys. Because it goes, no reputation, accepted, liked, idolized. Oh, thank goodness for that. 
I am idolised for the community, renowned for my extensive support and goodwill. Oh, flipping finally. Good, that took, that took me like nearly two hours. I thought it was going to be an easy trip to Camp Forlorn Hope and, and done in 15 minutes. And it took nearly two flipping hours to get enough dog tags. Because I thought like 30 odd was enough with the, the quest I'd already done. Then in the end it turned out I needed more like flipping 60 odd. Right, well I never want to come to Cottonwood Cove again, so just to sort that out, let's deal with these quests here. Hello, the weathers. We're being held here against our will. I beg you, help us. I beg you, help us. Okay, I'm working on it. Right, you, Canyon Runner. Ah, wait. Have you come to sell or trade for captures? Sure, why not? And with speech 50, I can tell him they're unfortunately diseased. Pustula? What? Is that contagious? That doesn't sound good at all. And I'll give you 150 caps for the lot of them. Seems I'm fortunate to get that much for him. And free these guys nice and easy. Hello. Oh, it's just awful here. Oh, she's got such an annoying voice, Sammy Weathers. I've paid for your freedom. You're free to go. Yep, there we are. Easy 400 experience points. And everyone's free. Yay. They all run off. Good, good, good. Basically just discovered, left my heart, and then immediately uh, dealt with it. There's kind of obviously a whole subploit with their husband who's over at the Aero Tech Office Park. But you can skip him entirely. You don't even need to go up to him. You can just find them, free them, and the quest is done for an easy 400 experience point. So very quick and easy there. Now, the other benefit of being idolised by the Legion. Not really that I feel you need an additional bonus beyond... If I've got my understanding of this game correct, the Legion now cannot send hit squads after me. No matter what I do, they may shoot me on sight, but that's fine. Legion, not even in that many places on the map. Not many spots on the map with Legion at all. And where they are on the map, they tend to be a little out of the way, off the beaten track, so I can avoid them. But yes, um, Legion hit squads not coming after me. That means brilliant. I should be pretty much safe from the Legion for the rest of the game. I won't be able to come here after a little while, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. Especially given, of course, I had to burn a stealth boy to get some enough dog tags to actually get my way up to uh, idle. Oop, climbing on to Jesus' throne there. Oops. So I have a chat with Lucius now. You've proven yourself to be a true friend of the Legion. We have a safe house available to our agents in the Mojave. Here's the key. In addition, one of our veterans, Atticus, visits the house every few days. While he's there, you can acquire items useful for stealthy operations against our enemies from him. And of course, the thing that they're talking about for stealth operations is stealth boys. This uh, this safe house gives you three stealth boys, which is magnificently good news. Anyway, let's go check that out, shall we? So probably the closest landmark you'll have is Wolfhorn Ranch. So if you just head there and head in kind of a southwesterly direction, you'll be able to find your way to the Legion safe house. You'll also pass very close by to that uh, Viper ambush be traveling between Nipton and up towards Wolfhorn Ranch which we met earlier in the game. So, given that freaked me out a little bit at the time, if you fancy revenge, now that you've got, you know, ridiculous guns and explosive armor, this is a great time for that sort of thing. Yep, there we go. One shot, two kills. I always like that. And here's the little shack that we want. Looks kind of very unassuming. It's kind of very, uh, very stealthy, really. But Caesar's Legion Safe House. Beautiful. And with our key, we can crack our way inside. And just a normal house, but obviously you can see the banner there. And there is, down here, we have the safe house proper. So what have we actually got in here? We've got a few bits and pieces. We've got a time bomb, which is a very powerful weapon. But I think you, otherwise, I think you might need to take Mad Bomber to have that. So that's a very powerful weapon right there. You've got Lucky Shade, which are really, really good. Because Lucky Shades basically just give you luck plus one for free. So that's a really good item to have, frankly. Uh, and obviously, uh, don't forget that you can wear uh, glasses at the same time as the Chinese Stealth Armour. Even though it covers your face, it doesn't actually count as anything. So can you actually see the Lucky Shades? I think you might just be able to. Yeah, they kind of... They're slightly, awkward sti they're slightly awkwardly sticking out of the side there, never mind. Can't wear it with a helmet, but for when you're not wearing a helmet, it's a very good thing to have. You've also got Praetorian Armour. A displacer glove, which is pretty good. So I might just have that. Some 308 ammo. And is that a good quality? That's a reasonable quality sniper rifle. Vexillaris helmet, if you fancy that sort of thing. And yep, yeah, Vexillaris armor as well. A chainsaw as well, if you are into that. And a centurion armor and helmet. Centurion helmet's kind of cool. So, not necessarily anything I'd actually want to uh, have there. The displaced gloves kind of fun, so I might have that. But other than that, I might just quickly just use these lockers, change around some equipment. 
because there's some things I'm not going to need anymore. Oh, I got a brush gun, by the way, off uh, one of the NCR that I killed while collecting dog tags. So what I've stored to make some space is the displacer glove, which is a very good condition. Maybe I'll come back for that later. The naughty nightwear, because now I've got the lucky shades and my speech is almost maxed out. Have I maxed out? I might have maxed out already. I don't really need that anymore. Plasma pistol I haven't used in forever. Ditto the unique plasma rifle. I think I used that once and I've never used it again. So I can't see myself using that. Rat Slayer, my old faithful friend, but I think it's outlived its usefulness. And Vance's gun, which is powerful, but I don't have that much ammo on me for it. Whereas I've got a ton of ammo for the 10mm. So I'm just going to keep the 10mm instead. I know Vance's gun is... Uh, Vance's gun is technically better and it weighs less actually. Oh dear, yeah, Vance's gun is actually... Okay, fine, we'll keep Vance's gun and we'll put the 10mm away for the moment. And I'll just pick up some 9mm at some point, we'll change it around that way. But I don't need both, really, it's a bit of a waste. So that's what we've got at the moment, I've just cleared out a bit of space there. And that's, I don't know, I, I like safe houses, exploring safe houses is always good fun. No Atticus mind, which is a shame, because he's a chap that's occasionally floating around in this area and he'll give you... Uh, yeah, he'll give you uh, two stealth. I think it's two stealth boys in one go, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if you happen to stumble across him, that can be very, very useful indeed. Anyway, with that done, I think we're pretty much done with the Legion. We shouldn't have to deal with them again because we've done pretty much every quest we can do. And Caesar won't speak to me again until House is dead. And obviously, you guys have asked me to actually do the House route. So House isn't going to end up dead on my watch anyway. And no one else is going to kill him. So there we go. And that means I think we may as well head on to House and uh, have a chat with him to see what's coming up next. Now, we're, now we've kind of securely neutralised the Legion threat as much as I can do. I'm very glad to have done that now because it means I'm pretty safe from the Legion for the rest of the game. So, hello, how sorry it's been a while. I've been busy killing a hell of a lot of NCR in order to get into the Legion's good books rather oddly. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded and those at the fort ready for action. So obviously his main thing he's after is he wants us to take out, or rather make sure that a few factions are on the right side. The first of which is going to be the Boomers, who therefore I think we'll move on to the Boomers next time. That seems like an excellent thing to do. He wants me to get the Boomers on side or neutralise them. We'll obviously get them on side. It's a lot safer and we will get to that next time. And I think probably a good way to kind of uh, finish off chatting to House this time is let's just go into one of his dialogue options and possibly to my mind the most interesting and compelling reason why you might want to work with House, which is his ultimate long-term goal. Oh, but first I have to level up, unfortunately. Okay, fine. We're leveling up to level 21 as well. Okay, what do we want to get up? Uh, repair. We need to get repair right up. I'd say let's get repair up to 50. We've kind of, we've, we've tarried on repair quite long enough. Repair is an important skill, and a few people have been calling me out in the comments for not getting it up high enough. So as I was saying, let's have a chat to House about what his long-term goal is, because I just love this. Give me 20 years, and I'll reignite the high technology development sectors. 50 years, and I'll have people in orbit. 100 years, and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. So yes, House, a little bit of a slightly uh, egocentric uh, autocrat, sure, but People kind of sometimes accuse House of being stuck in the past, of kind of being old world thinking. Well, I don't know. He kind of seems very keen to get away from the mistakes of the old world. I just love his idea of, you know, you know what? Maybe rather it would actually be easier, rather than just fixing this world, to actually just send colony ships out and find a new flipping planet to start over on. I mean, that's, that's ambitious. That's the sort of kind of big big, ambitious, big thinking solutions that no one else really in Fallout has. I mean, Fallout 3 spend the whole game just kind of desperately trying to keep people alive and you get the feeling they're going to die pretty darn soon no matter what you do. And even in New Vegas, the NCR and the Siege's Legion, none of them feel like a decent long-term solution. House feels like he's actually got a long-term solution. And House, you feel like he's actually clever enough he might be able to pull it off. So that's good news, isn't it? So there we are. I think next time we will crack on and we will go over and to the boomers. We've already made it past the bombardment, thankfully, so we can get straight in to Valare and deal with all of that. Do let me know what you armor you want me to kind of be uh, wearing. Are you happy with the existing Chinese stealth armor with uh, Sheriff's Hat and these new Lucky Shades? Or maybe you think it might be nice for the Ranger armor to get a bit of a run out. Or we could have a bit of a mix and match. I could think I could certainly deal with this setup. I think this is very cool indeed. So yes, let me know that. And in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas. You only live once. Happy 2015, everybody. And goodbye. And once he's nice and high, Caden, if you'd be so kind. And off he goes into space.
Oh, you exploded. That's a shame. Yeah, you're going straight in. I don't... Oh, <laughs> oh that was a good one. Sloop. Thank you. 